Welcome back friend this is Ram here and it's 57 tutorial on Java FX8. In this tutorial we are going to see how to apply an CSS effect to pie charts. So let's begin. We are going to use the last tutorial 56 to give a CSS effect. So this is 57 tutorial on pie chart and CSS. So now we are going to create one CSS file. So say new and cascade style sheet. So I'm going to give a name, say style. So in this tutorial we are going to apply some CSS effect to pie chart. So first of all I will run the application. So this is the our application using a pie chart that shows the expenditures in percentage incurred in a publishing a book. So in this tutorial we are going to apply some CSS effect that is we can change the directions that is clockwise and anti-clockwise in a pie chart we can set the visibility of the labels we can add the length of these lab lines used for the labels and we can add angle we can change the side of this legend then we can set the font for each labels and we can add the padding in a each angle and we can also change the color of the pie chart so let's start say dot chart and I'm going to apply fx clockwise say and set it as a false so by default it is a clockwise so we are going to set it as anti-clockwise next fx say pi label dash label dash visible and set it as true then we are going to change the length of the line of label so fx label dash line dash length and uh, say the length of the label is 2 then we can add fx start angle so start dash angle and say we can add 30 degree and we can set the legion side so fx dash legion dash side and say we are going to set the side on right next we are going to change the font size of the label so dot chart dash pi dash label and in that we are going to set the font size say fx dash font dash size 
and say font size 10 pixel next we are going to set the padding between the each angle so dot chart dash content and set fx dash padding and say padding is equals to 2 percent next we are going to change the color of the one of the expenditure so say we are going to change the color of printing cost to some another color say now to change that we are going to say default so it it always apply any default and default colors to the pie chart that is color zero so we are going to change the first color of print printing cost to some another color say print color chart dash pie and we are going to change the first color to another color fx say pi color and say color hello so we are going to change the printing cost color that is dark red to yellow so next we are going to add some other CSS effect to legion say dot chart and say legion and we can change the background color of the region or a border color of the region and we can also add the width to a border of the region so fx say background color and say as it is a transparent so we are going to add um, any different colors say white we are going to apply a white color to the region then dash fx dash border color and say border color black then we are going to add some width to the border so fx border and say width and the width say 2 so these are the effects we are going to add to a pie chart using a CSS so to apply this CSS effect I am going to add a CSS into a application so after the scene say scene dot get style sheet and add so we are going to add the class get class dot get resource and add the style sheet name so style css and convert to external form so save this now we have applied some 
CSS effect through CSS to our pie chart so these are the effects which we have applied to our pie chart and then we have added this style sheet now I am going to set disable some effects which we have added in application using pie chart code so we have disabled the legend side label clockwise direction then we have disabled the angle and now these effects we are going to apply through CSS now save this and I'm going to close the previous application and run so there may be some problem with the CSS so there is one extra EL is added in the sheet so I'm going to change that save this and run once again so the effects which we have added using a style sheet are so we have set this as anti-clockwise direction so this is in the anti-clockwise direction printing cost paper cost and all these expenditures then we have set the labels visible and then we have set the length of the line to so the previously the length of the line is max and now it's very short that is 2 now next we have set the angle to a 30 degree so from the axis x-axis we have set the 30 degree angle so it's shifted little bit towards y-axis then we have set the legion to the right side so this is the legion on the right side then next we have set the font size of the labels to a 10 pixel then we have adding a padding 2 to the each content then next we have set the default color 0 so first color to yellow then we have added the background color to the legion as a white then border color as a black and the width of the border as a 2 so these are the effects we can add to the pie chart using CSS and if you have any question about this tutorial ask me in the comment section or you can mail me on my email id that is alapureram at the red gmail dot com so if you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching this video see you in the next tutorial